Hello, this is The Moat, and welcome back to Fruit Server Survival. This is uh, episode three, and we're going to be talking about MCMMO today, and that is the Minecraft mul Massively Multiplayer Online uh, plugin, which gives us certain stats that are sort of role-playing game-like, and so we'll take a look at those in just a minute. Before we do that, I'm going to cut over real quick, and I'm going to show you uh, one of the the, some of the players builds around here. So I'm going to try to do that every episode if I can, or at least every other episode. And so I'm going to show you a little section on Axis the Great's Caverns. Now, it's a, it's just the beginning of the work he's doing. Uh, I think it's a he. Sorry, Axis, if you're she, I apologize. Uh, but they're digging out a huge cavern, and they've got some interesting things. So take a look at it, and we'll be right back. All right, so here we are at the caverns. This is Axis the Great's Caverns. This is the space he wants to build out his home. He's got his course plants. Uh, planted out front here and up on the top, but take a look at the size of this space. So let's take a look through the window here Look at that and they're still clearing out. So this is an early build Welcome to the caverns um, But look at the size of this look how much he's gonna fill up here. This is a, a large build This is gonna take some work um, Got their beacon already set up. So that'll be good. All right, and then uh, I'm not sure the deal I can't remember you know, like they've got you know, you've already started fit, you know, working out the pits and all that. Uh, I can't remember if he bought this off of somebody that somebody else started the caverns and he bought it and is now finishing it, or if the, if he's dug it all out. So I'll have to check with him later. All right, so let's take a look. He's got a, starting a second floor here. Uh, there's Axis himself. Uh, so Axis, if you see this, put a comment. Let me know if it's that you bought it or if you just if you started building it out yourself. Uh, now this is just one of the players and, and, they, and I've just met Axis this evening when when I was filming this uh, he was you know obviously doing a lot of mining so he was looking for some picks and whatnot and I brought some over for him and I just want to capture some of this as we go around uh, just capture some of the different builds that you guys are building out there on fruit servers all right one of these days I'll actually get an acrobatic roll out of that oh well anyway I guess I gotta get my acrobatic skill up um, so this is just look at the size of this thing and of course the party picks that you can get by doing the vote parties uh excuse me by voting for the server um have efficiency six on them so they really kind of make this kind of work come uh you know much more realistic so really great job here axis uh love the, the beacon things are looking good you'll have to come off come back and see how things are when you're all done thanks for letting us take a look and there you go so that's axis the greats and we'll take a look at um uh, with some builds from another player in the next episode. I've already got some uh, some of this captured. Uh, Chip King and um, Chichibu, I think it is. Uh, I've got some uh, video of their thing, so we'll show those off next time. Right now, let's go ahead and jump into M uh, MC MMO. If you want to find out your stats, you can use this command slash MC stats, and that shows you over here on the right. Let me see if I can get into something that's uh, nope. Well, I guess it's not too bad. You can see, you know, I don't have a whole lot of alchemy, you know, taming down at the bottom, but I have a fair score up in repair and mining and things like that. And so the, those getting up into the thousands is even better. As you get a higher score, you get better at each of these skills. And so there's some really neat things you can do with that. Let me start off. I'm going to start off with something a little strange, but let me go ahead and start this. Uh, you'll you'll notice. Let me get these out of here. Sorry, I was doing some bacon earlier. Uh, so I'm going to take this perfectly normal diamond pickaxe. There's nothing on it right now. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my furnace. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, what the um, what these different skills can get you are different abilities, like being able to repair things. I'm going to show you that. Uh, we're going to be talking about repair, mining, and uh, woodcutting today. That's going to be the three I try to get to. Uh, there's a lot more here, so we'll try to cover some of the other ones as we go along. I'm only going to skim the surface here, surface here for these things. So the repair uh, lets you go ahead and actually. So here's a, an iron block up here, and as long as you have whatever's required to repair something, uh, you can repair these things. So uh, with a, a bow, I think it's string, that kind of stuff. So anything that can be repaired normally on an anvil or whatnot, you can repair it here. Uh, take a quick note that I've got 23 levels of experience, 23 and a half. So if I go over here. You know, these have a little bit, the durability on these is down just a little bit. If I right click, it's taken one of my my um, iron ingots and gone ahead and repaired the boots. Now, at the level I'm at, down at 300, if I were to try to, to, try to, re 
to repair something that has an enchantment on it, then it probably wouldn't work. Uh, it would repair the item, but it would actually strip off the enchantment. So be careful with it. But here for plain things like here, this is just a plain iron pickaxe. So I want to repair it. I can just go ahead and do that. And depending upon how much you have to re replace, repair it, it'll take more iron ingots. These are all kind of minor. So that's the repair piece. And as you get higher, as you get much higher levels, then you can actually start to repair um, items with enchantments and have a lot more chance of, of actually keeping those enchantments. So I want to start off showing you that. Let's take a look at our, our pickaxe here. All right, so I put a pickaxe in a furnace and I smelted it, right? And so this is this is actually what's called a child skill. Uh, so this is a smelting skill, requires smelting level of 250 plus, but now this is a flux pickaxe. So this, requ uh, and now it says, says, it says right there, uh, has a chance of instantly smelting ores as you're going ahead and, and uh, mining them. Now you notice I have another one up here. I went ahead and tried it earlier to see how it went. And you can actually add, um, what do you call it? Uh, enchantments to it. So we're going to go try this out here in just a second. Um, now notice it said smelting of 250. Uh, that's where I'm going to... Well, uh, yeah, two things. We'll show... Well, let's go down and show this. Uh, so let me show you my stats again here real quick. Uh, you notice that I have repair and mining. Repair of 300 and uh, mining of 232. So the because the smelting is a child, um, uh, skill, it is your your total value is the average of the two that we just were looking at. So the repair mining in this case, so it's mines up over 500. So the uh, average is over 250, which is the required value for smelting. So we're going to go ahead and grab our flux pickaxe. We found, found a little bit of iron here, and let's see if any of these automatically come out. Oh yeah, there's an iron ingot right there. Uh, so that's kind of a, oh yeah, that one too. All right, so you get the particles and everything. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a sweet little, sweet little deal. There's, huh, uh, some, somebody's been down here. Um, so that's a pretty sweet little deal. All right, so just another thing to think about. Uh, I don't know if you can do that with party pickaxes and throw them in the furnace or anything, or if that would ruin them. Um, so do be careful and, you know, yeah. Don't try it if you don't want to lose that pickaxe. I uh, want to show you, let's go ahead and move some of this stuff out so I don't do the wrong thing here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, where's, there we go. Here's a, a normal pickaxe. And I want to show you one of the things that you can do. Uh, so just by mining, I will get uh, experience in mining levels. So as I go ahead and mine every once in a while, it'll, you'll hear a ding and things, and it'll, uh, ding and some you'll see a, a chat message saying that my mining skill has gone up. So if you just keep mining, that's how you can increase your mining level. So you kind of have a sense of how fast a regular pickaxe goes. One of the skills that you get with the mining abilities, and mine is uh, 232 right now, is whoops, is that you get a what's called a super breaker. So what I'm going to do is, you know, here's the regular speed of mining. Now when I do a right click, I'll have so I'll have a few seconds of what's called Super Breaker, which adds Efficiency 5 to whatever I'm using. So if this is a Diamond Pickaxe, it'd do Efficiency 5 on that pickaxe. If you're using a Party Pick, which is Efficiency 6, uh, it'll add 5 to that even. But it's only for a few seconds, so let's watch it. I'm going to go ahead and right-click. You'll see it announced in the, in the chat, and we'll show you how quick it goes in comparison to the regular one. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, great. So you can see it's much more quick. It's, it's, uh, it's almost at the speed of a diamond pickaxe uh, just on a regular um, what do you call it uh, on a regular iron pickaxe so there we go so that's one of the skills you can do with that uh, with the the uh, with the MC MMO as you get up into higher levels that uh, rock breaker lasts for a lot longer uh, super breaker excuse me lasts for a lot longer I think it's for every hundred points uh, you get an extra second, as I recall. So we'll take a look at that. All right, so those are some of the mining uh, benefits that you can get. So those are, those are all pretty nice. Uh, we're going to take a very short break. I'm going to run upstairs. I want to show you the um, sort of covered repair and uh, 
You can also do, you know, like leather armor and stuff like that. So with leather, you can repair leather armor with leather, uh, you know, with hide to be able to do that. So you, anything you repair, you can do it up there and you don't lose your experience points. So that's kind of a nice benefit. You don't have to use an anvil for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, run upstairs. We'll catch you up there and then we'll show you the tree cutter. And I think that'll wrap us up for today. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and there's my little picnic area. There's my little house, my tower, and we're going to take out this tree. Now, normally that would take, this is a tree I planted, um, and normally it would take a fair amount of time to cut up through that, even with a nice axe. We're going to do it really quickly. If you're familiar with the tree capitator, um, tree capitator mod, uh, this is something similar, but this is what MCMMO provides. So uh, in the, first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can trigger the acrobatics um, experience. I'm going to go ahead and jump because uh, if you jump and take a certain amount of damage, sometimes you get some benefit. You get some acrobatics points, but nothing there. So I thought I'd try while we we're at it. Can't hurt. All right. Now, by cutting down trees, you'll get woodcutter uh, benefits. Um, let's go ahead and I think that'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, so if I went ahead and cut this down, I would get some of it. If we look back at my stats real quick again, uh, wood cutting at 156. Again, as your skills go up, you get longer of these special abilities. Well, the wood cutting special ability is if I right click and choose, you know, one of the blocks here at the base, it'll cut down the whole tree for me all at once. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and right click and boom, that whole tree goes out as well as most of the leaves. And so that all takes out and you notice it lasted for there for a little while so if I had had a whole bunch of trees here I could have gone through and taken out a whole bunch in that time and again as your skill goes up then your um, then your time frame goes up the time amount of time that you can do that for uh, also goes up replant that for a little bit later all right and so I and you, you notice you also get the drop drops of the, the spruce saplings or whatever it is so if you just need to quickly get something, or if you have any of these giant trees like that, that's a quick way to get some wood. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it. Uh, and you notice there's my super breaker ability from the mining has just refreshed. I think the, the uh, refreshment refreshing time, uh, cooldown time is 240 seconds, so two minutes. Um, four minutes, excuse me. All right. Yeah, four minutes. Anyway. Uh, so that's how long you have to wait before you can get reuse it. But now I can go and reuse it if I want. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, we'll talk about other things like fishing. There's also fishing, uh, acrobatics, and we'll talk about some of the abilities there. Uh, I need to level up on some of that before I can show you some of the more interesting things for that. Um, there's alchemy and things that I haven't played with. And we'll, we'll keep going. We'll come back to some of these. But next episode, uh, I think what we're going to do is actually going to dedicate an episode to... Um, Maybe taking a look at some players' builds or some of the mods and staff builds, uh, and we'll cover some of the other things as we go along. We'll come back to MCMMO in a, in a future uh, episode. If you guys are watching and have specific MCMMO or plug-in information you want, you may do an episode or information about it. Please let me know. Uh, now, real quick, I just want to sort of finish up. I wanted to show you this. Uh, I got I had the the opportunity with my son and my niece and a friend of ours to go to Minecon. This is the Minecon cake. Uh, so it's a little Enderman, uh, and that's uh, a whole lot of fun. I think that's just neat to have a cape. Uh, we had a good time at Minecon. Uh, I think the big thing that I want to share with you guys is that there is a rumor, and it is just rumor, and it was just people talking about it. It wasn't Mojang people. I'm sorry. Uh, that uh, the next Minecon will be in Australia. Now, nothing confirmed, but they mentioned Melbourne. So who knows? Now, they they being people in line, so nobody official. But I think it'd be kind of cool. And if, if it was, well, we'll have to try to put some money together. I would love to be able to try to get out and see Australia since I live in the States. And uh, who knows? So maybe in a year or so, we'll see each other at Minecon. In any case, guys, I hope all is well. And look forward to talk, catching you guys in the next episode. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.